We're going to try and finish up uh, his Bandit Axe run. About six hours in on New Game Plus. Uh, we just did... I think we just did Giant Lord. So... Oh yeah, we're back here now. So we got to do Ventric, then Dark Lurker, then DLC, and then the final three bosses, and that's it. This run has been pretty fast. I'm, I'm very happy with. I mean, there's definitely places it could have been better, but I think it's good enough. It's not going to be like a 12-hour run. Hopefully, if it's a 12-hour run, then we have a problem, because there's no way it should take 12 hours to finish what's left. Or six hours, I should say. I'm thinking, like, three, maybe. Assuming all is, like, decent. This weapon's been pretty solid, though. Like, the power stance moveset is nice. Deals decent damage, it feels like. I'm pretty sure we have all five of these things, right? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> this is this could be a problem. Oops. Super early roll. The, I think, like, the direction you swing is not ideal for <laughs> Vendrick. You have to be, like, so close to him. Can we move from the wall? Come on. Mm -mm. Okay, I thought he was going to swing a lot earlier than that. <laughs> Alright, that was not bad at all. Easy peasy. Dark Lurker, let's go. So we we gotta go to... Wrangle Lake? I think we talked to the other two, uh... Well, it's the same guy, but at two other spots. Oops. Crap. But I mean, if I just talked to this dude and then this portal just showed up, I'd be, like, terrified. But, you know, the main character is just like, yeah, we're, we'll go in it. Why not? Although, to be fair, like, if I encountered a lot of this stuff, it'd be pretty terrifying. Imagine just fighting Ancient Dragon. Like, the fight isn't much, but, like, imagine, like, going up to Ancient Dragon and being like, yeah, I'm gonna fight this thing. Are we not power stancing again? Okay. Or that happened. Stop. I hate fighting this guy, because, like, wherever you fight him, it, it, you're, like, two feet from a ledge. Please stop. He healed too. It's only fair, I guess.
Mm. All right. Well, give me this. I don't know. Like, in, aesthetics are just like, in case I screwed something up. Like, mainly Aldia. Stop. Dude, I, I didn't even realize my health was that low. As soon as he started that flurry, I, I looked and I'm like, oh crap, that sucks. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, yeah, it sucks dying in the dungeons, dude. How many humanity do we have? 13? Should be enough. Yeah. Especially there, though, because, like, that's a free one. I don't have to burn any effigies for that. Plus, now I gotta kill Havel again. In this super sketchy area. This is probably my least favorite dungeon, to be honest. Well, it's really just, again, the, the part with Havel where you're, like, two feet away from falling to your death at any point. Because if you go in further, you have to fight the other dude, too. And I don't want to fight both these guys at the same time. Three. Dude, you're not allowed to do three attacks. Not fair. Stop it! Come on. Can't get backstabbed either. If I get backstabbed, I'm probably dead. How does this guy have, like, infinite stamina with this armor? Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, how'd that miss? <laughs> okay, let's go back in here then. Can I get the... the one where you spam like thank you oh, of course can't capitalize dude i hate this guy you just like <laughs> you get poked and you just get stunned it's not it's not even this guy it's just like thrusting swords it's so annoying How? High frames. Cover high frames. Of course. All right, you. Hey, K, what's up, man? Happy Friday. Jesus Christ. So afraid of just like running off the edge too accidentally. Um, uh, where are we going? This way? Yeah. All right, one more. This is the easy, easy one. I say easy, and I'm probably gonna die to her. I can't get a hit it. Perma stunned. How do you like it? I'm so used to being on the end, the, the receiving end of this. Destiny, before you move on to your next game, finish Martha's Dead. <laughs> I was just about to ask. I figured it. I mean, I know, you know, it sounded like the start was. I figured most of it was. Well, that's why I was power stancing. I keep forgetting. I switched to the chime. Uh, okay. Second one here. Two. 
288,000 souls, so I can't really do much with them. I can get some stamina, I guess, but... Forlorn. Scarlet Nexus. Uh, I want to... I think I've heard of that one. That's a Souls-like, right? I think. Is it? I, I don't know. I, I thought it was, but maybe it's not. Might just be an RPG? Hell, it might be neither. Hey, man, everyone sucks at Souls games when you first play them, though. It just takes, like, patience, I think, to... to beat them, and, a, like, a willingness to learn. Might be an action RPG, I don't know. I hate this guy too, man. Anyone in tanky armor. Heavy into anime style. Yeah. I remember that too. I remember that being a thing. When it released. Like I, I like I I never watched any gameplay or anything, but I, I remember I know that like people played it <laughs> at some point. I don't know when. I don't know if it was last year or this year. Dude. I hope the Pyromancer isn't, like, right behind me. Okay. Has he rolled? You know, I don't know. I don't know how he just swings forever, too. Infinite stamina. No, dude, what? Thank you. I was trying to back, like, to bitch slap him. Or backhand him. Alright, this guy. Actually, you know what? Let's go this guy first. Oh, what? Hello? Backstab. Please stop. You can probably just unlock him with the R1 over and over again. It's like one of my favorite things to do. On <laughs> when you have like a a not super heavy weapon, you just do that. Go light this. All right, come on. I know you saw me, you flinched. that you can backstab this guy. Like, I don't know how you'd get to the back through this turtle shell, but... How does he even have stamina to roll? How... Okay, man. Alright, there's no way you have any more... St what? How does he have stamina still? I don't get it.
All right, two down. Might go level two, honestly. Like, I have 300k souls. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get a lot out of this. Or, uh, maybe not a lot, but, like, we'll get a decent amount. And we should have the last dungeon, Dark Lurker, and then DLC. Then finish. Then we'll be on to another run. I don't know what we're going to be playing yet, because I never do, but... I'm hoping Elden Ring. Because we haven't played Elden Ring in, like, forever. At least on stream. I'm just going to do this. Good on life gems. I'm really looking forward to like the next fun run though. I say that like these runs aren't fun. Some of them aren't super fun. Like some are more fun than others, I should say. The fun is the challenge though on the ones that aren't like quote unquote fun but like another five of these runs I think this is like the fifth out of the ten and we're gonna do the Elden Ring rando another another Elden Ring rando but like with a twist which I'm not gonna say until we do it I really like the Elden Ring randomizer though In a different way than I like Dark Souls randomizers. Like, the Dark Souls 1 randomizer is really good because you need so many key items to beat the game. But the Elden Ring randomizer is more about, like, what bosses are you going to see in what areas. Which, is, I, I, that's why I like it. And, like, if you get stuck, you can just go somewhere else. And needing seven great runes can be L. Back off a little bit here. This guy's super easy to kill if you have like a faster weapon. Like this is fast enough. Unless everyone and their mother comes at you. You just stun walk them. What I'm really scared of though is this mage. Because he just can do like force or whatever and like you'll never be able to hit him also can heal people but we're fine is he not gonna fall in really that's fine whatever Just, it's so funny how easy it is to stagger these guys. And then you just do this over and over again, and they die. Well, almost. There we go. Uh, let's do a life gem. But I, I'm not a big fan of the durability situation. Okay, good. <laughs> Repair powder. Like, it's all, the right one's almost at half. Fully healed? All right. There we go.
really start Good damage so far, but that's how it always goes. And as soon as they split, you deal like nothing. Because you're just running around the entire time. I love Dark Lurker's OST though. Really nice. Dude. Oh crap. actually going like really well I think this guy's dead as soon as he comes down boom sweet all right all we got left is DLC and the meme trio at the end We have the cat ring on. Give me the cat ring. Hopefully, Gang Squad's not like 20 minutes again. <laughs> that was so bad. It's always long, though, man. Like, no matter what you do. I don't know, like, unless you're, like, speedrunning and you have, like, a very good setup for it, it's going to be long. You're just trying not to die, you know? If you're trying not to die, it's going to be probably not super great, no matter what. I don't think a lot will be that bad. Sin is going to be pretty normal, I imagine. Just, you know, flying around. Waiting for a chance to hit him. Like, whenever I do DLC, the only thing I really, really worry about is, like, the run through fidget outskirts.
Hit the thing. Really? Wait, what? What? What is happening? That's uh, okay. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that attack. She just like brought a pillar up from the depths of hell. I don't know what just happened. That's why I, <laughs> I think that's what happened. I have no idea. But I was gonna kill her because, like, I feel like half the time when I try to open this chest, she uh, hits me and it staggers me and I can't open it. So, I figured I'm just always gonna kill her, but I didn't know what she was doing there. Okay, guys. Out of the way. This part kind of sucks, actually. But, like, this is really the only bad part of this DLC. Aside from the boss uh, known as Gang Squad. Okay, that's open. Back? Or, or, okay, whatever. I'll just open this, I guess. See? I knew it. I knew it. That's why I don't like this enemy. I wish I knew which of these was the dude on the bottom, like near the chest, because being able to kill him would be good. But I have no idea which one is him. Which statue. Alright. They're not going to follow me, right? I'm, I'm going to be fine to open this, I hope. Where's the... He's there. Going. Get it open. We're out. I think for me, this is probably, like, my least favorite out of the three DLCs, but it's still, like, a really good DLC. Although, I, I don't know. I'd say Frigid Outskirts deducts a lot of points from DLC 3, but I like, I like the rest of it a lot, DLC 3. DLC 2 is my favorite, though. He's coming. See ya. He's gesturing. Gesturing jester. And he's gone.
These DLCs are all super quick, though. Like, what have we been in here for five minutes and we're, like, are you going to be fighting bosses in another two? Something like that? Where am I going? One day I'm probably actually going to, like, explore this area. I never have. I think whenever we do, like, an item randomizer, probably going to have to. Someday we will. Someday there will be an enemy randomizer for this game. And I wish a foggy randomizer too, but... I don't know. One thing at a time. Item and enemy randomizer would, would be really good. I, I wish that the item randomizer or the enemy randomizer was still a thing in this game, but it is not. I think in the speedrun, Alana would already be dead by now, <laughs> time-wise. Like, Alana and Cinder are both really quick kills. And I think they're pretty much, like, always the same, as opposed to Gang Squad. It was just like complete RNG. I like how these skeletons are golden, by the way. I don't know why they are, but... You know, Velstad actually looks a little more golden, too, now that I think about it. I'm not playing this well at all. I'm just like... I have no concern for what she's doing right now. <laughs> and she can very easily kill me, especially with the fire attack. Keeping that dude alive. For a bit, anyway. I would like her to not be near a wall. I'm dead. Okay, I thought she was going to swing again. I feel like she plays so passively when you have skeletons, and then when Velstack comes out, she's, like, super aggressive. Can make this go down if I can. All right. So we're, we got two bosses left, and we're going to spend like another 30 minutes in this DLC because these two bosses just take so long. Feels bad, man. At least we get banger OSTs. Gang Squad's OST is not even really even that bad either. Like, it's pretty decent. The fight sucks, but the, the music is pretty good.
You want to get rid of this uh, pillar? Thanks. Okay, well, that didn't really help. Give me something that I can punish. Thank you. Oh, we have lightning, too. It should make this a little better. good. Thought for sure I'd get hit there. Dude. You just know he's going up almost immediately. <laughs> Every time. Right, just land. And he's up again. What a surprise. Down, up again? Oh, he can go up. And he's going up, though. Fire breath? That works. I don't know, maybe it's safer, or maybe it's like faster if you can just stay on his tail. And maybe he doesn't just fly up as much. Like, I don't know. Man. It's always like this for me. Up in the air again. Thank you. Okay, that was actually, like, way faster than I was expecting. It wasn't fast, but it was faster than I was expecting, so I'll take it. All right, just Kank Squad. which I, I can't imagine will be any faster than I'm expecting. It's going to be like 10 to 15 minutes, probably. Uh, let's do this. Unless I do like a bright bug, which honestly I probably should, uh, considering I have a decent amount of them. Oh my god. Like at this rate, I'm just saving the bright bugs for the next run. <laughs> Like always. I feel like I always have some left over.
can actually uh, use Homeward here, too. This is, like, the main reason I got it, is for this dude, but... Like, <laughs> but it's, it's actually been, like, super helpful for, like, this whole run, pretty much. Especially when Forlorn shows up. Okay, we got 80 life gems. That's good. I forgot to check before we started, but yeah, we're all good. Uh, let's do... I guess we can do this. I'll throw that on. I'm probably, I don't want to use, like, too many here. I'll probably do, like, at most, like, two. I want to save some for the fridged outskirts. Please don't get curse. That would be devastating, especially after already wasting a bright bug. I've never been hit going through this fog gate, and I'm waiting for the day it happens. Right, come on, over here. Put the shield away. No, 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 I didn't want to use another one. I forgot I had them on. I just wanted the life gem. That sucks. Taking them off. Well, you know what? At least we have another two minutes of this, I guess. Assuming I live for that long. He still hurts, even with the bright bug. He's gonna heal soon, probably. Okay, stop it, dude. What? What is? What good is the ring of giants plus two if I keep getting staggered? Getting him down early would be really nice, because this guy sucks to fight. Thank you. Oh, we're fighting in water too, which should help me. Why? I'm dead. Holy crap, that damage, dude. I just couldn't get away. Well, that's two bright bugs wasted, so that's cool. That was a decent start, too, with Bar going down, all, like, pretty quickly. That sucks. I just couldn't get a hit on that dude, that second dude, the one who killed me. I got one hit in, but, like, he just kept staggering me, and then he bled me, and then I was dead. I'll probably use another Bright Bug still. But this will be the last one. I think there's still... I get... There's some in here. I can't remember where they are, though. Uh, they're not in the chest. I don't think they're in a chest. I'm gonna get cursed. I think they're over here. Are they here? Or are they in the chest? Oh, they're right here. Only two? It's a ripoff. I'm so getting cursed. Get to wait a second. Okay. Please don't. Too young. Oh, I'm might be dead here. Okay.
Okay, Gank Squad song or theme isn't as good as I remember it being. It's still better than the fight deserves, though. Stop. It's not bad. I don't think it's sin quality, though. I don't really want to hit him because he's just going to heal it. Dude. Oh, he moved to the side. Like, I thought he was going to keep moving towards me. And then he just said, nope. Where is the other dude? Not you. What? Every time I do an input, he just like stops moving towards me. Again, like. <laughs> Why? Why is life like this? Come on. Not you. Not what I meant to do. How in the world can I, like, not get a hit in? Jesus Christ, man. And you got Havel just, like, constantly in the way. This is not good. This guy's like one hit away from death, and I just can't land it. <laughs> oh my god. Untimely great arrow in my face. Where is he? All alone. Eat dirt, buddy. Jesus Christ. Pancakes. He's not healing, which is good. And he's done. Now you're next. No, oh, we tried to backstab me. Now nah, we're gonna get poked to death. My favorite. Okay. And we're done with this. Thank God. You'll see one down. Throw the cat ring back on. I think I have. I need a skull too. I have four. Perfect.
Mm, I hate this part, dude. Dude, this guy hurts. Jesus Christ. I wasn't expecting that much damage. So I'll probably do the same order I, I've been doing. I don't I do blue smelter then fume knight. It doesn't really matter which one you do first, but kind of like doing it that way. Landed right where he landed. Unlucky, and I forgot about that dude. I I thought it I thought he jumped out of not there, but like the the next pile or whatever. I just need to make a list of stuff that I need to practice, because <laughs> this is definitely one part of it. Uh, okay, I might be dead here. Wow. Somehow lived. Uh, what? Jump? Or, or don't jump, that's cool too. He just rolled. I don't know why. I was holding the button the entire time. I, I like there's no reason that should have been a roll. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I love how this, there's like four items right here. <laughs> it's just so random. Maybe if you stay like right to the inside of these, they don't uh, hit you. It looks good there. Oh yeah, we have homework for this part too, I forgot. Where Trick Quick Sword Rachel shows up. I was looking to see if I had a shard or a bone dust. I have neither. Yeah, this part sucks too. There's a lot of parts in this DLC that just like they're like the running sections that are just annoying. It's really like this end part here with the big dude right before the switch you need to hit the pole. I think we're good though. I think I got it. Okay. Good. I don't even care. It's open. That's all I care about.
Hello? This is new. <laughs> Never been stuck there before. Happened yesterday, too. I got stuck, like, right in front of the elevator that takes you up to, uh... Dragon Eerie from Aldius Keep. I didn't even get a chance to use Homeward. <laughs> it's fine, though. Not like I have any souls to lose. I already lost, like, I don't even know how many. After Dank Squad. After that first death, I didn't pick them up, so... Probably, like, a couple hundred K. But it really doesn't matter at this point. We can't really get much stronger. All right, uh, yeah, we'll go get the tower key, go blue smelter over here. can never remember which, uh, no, I don't think it's this one. I think it's over here. That one takes you back to the tower, I want to say. I don't know, I can never remember where these elevators lead to. That is very bright. Oh, my God. just walked right off. Nice. Missed the elevator by like a foot. Plus side, we don't need to worry about effigies anymore. I always get so worried, and then I, like, first try all the dungeons. They're usually not a problem unless you have, like, a, I guess, like, a short-range weapon, I would say, or, like, just horrible damage. You don't feel good? Pepto Bismol. Pepto Bismol's done such a good job marketing. <laughs> Gotta go see a doctor? Oh, that bad. Just all of a sudden? Got indigestion for like a month? Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, when do I... Uh, you know what? We're just gonna not heal, I guess. Probably dead here. 